Damn, it's the holiday season already. A little daily. Well, hello. Sometimes I underestimate how fucking close I'm up to right here. It ain't ding. We gotta do that again. That working gas gauge, though. What's up fam? Back at it again with more G content for your soul. Oh my door's actually open. What are we doing today? Today we will be You guessed it. Changing the clock spring on the G. Um this is actually a 350Z, so I'm gonna throw these switches on just to see how it look. If I don't like it. I'll go back to the G ones, but hey, it's something different, right? So I picked this one up from Adam. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to replace your clock spring on your G or your Z. All right, yeah, I'm going to get a better light uh, so you guys will be able to see better. But for now, like I said, we're going to be doing a clock spring on a G, on my G Ace. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard, although my car is a little jank. Obviously, I have the wrong dashboard in it and whatnot. But it shouldn't be too hard to do. Um, obviously, we got to remove the whole quick release assembly. If you have a factory steering wheel, you got to remove your factory steering wheel. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna start by taking off these uh, Allen key or Allen bolts, whatever the fuck they're called. Alright, so like I said, you're going to start by taking off all the bolts that are on your, um, your quick release. Pretty much take the whole hub and the assembly off, which is what I'm currently doing, but oh, I think I just stripped it. That's crazy. You know me, work harder, not smarter, right? That is crazy. Oh, dog, I think I just stripped it. What the fuck? Hold on. All right, well, we're going to deal with that one later. I'm going to take the rest of them off for now. Um, I don't know what happened. Maybe I over-tightened it or something, but... So, a minute into the install, we already have our first issue. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Remember to disconnect your battery, too. Um, Especially if you have an OEM steering wheel. You don't want to fuck with the airbag, you know? Then have an airbag blow up in your face. So yeah, remember to disconnect your battery. I managed to get it off without completely stripping it out, so that is good. But now I gotta be careful with this shit, cause yeah, that's no bueno, guys. Jesus Christ. All right, well, once you get this off, you gotta take this bolt off, and I believe that is a 17 or a 19. Let me double check. I was correct, size 19. All right, size 19. Once you get it on there, oh, wrong way. Yeah, you should lock your steering wheel before you do this, by the way, I didn't. Come on, there we go. I'm gonna turn my steering wheel back straight now. So, once you get that 19 millimeter nut off, unscrew it, and it should just pop off, I think. 
Wow, it's gonna be stubborn now. Really, dude? Really? Oh my god. Alright, well, give me a sec. Now I gotta figure out how to get this fucking hub off. We're gonna do something like this to get it off. One screw right there. Uh, let me line that up. One screw right there. Hello, Mr. Quick Release. And just... Damn, that thing's really fucking on there, dude. Holy shit. Alright, I got it off. That shit was really stuck on there, dude. If I just put a... I mean, this clock spring is bad anyways. Clearly, right? One, two... Yeah, see? If your clock spring keeps spinning like that, then it's bad. It shouldn't be... Well, this side seems fine, but this side's messed up. Yeah, see? It just keeps going. Seems like this way is good, but I don't know. You can hear it in there, dude. It's messed up. See, this side just keeps going. This side will stop, though. So it's only supposed to be if it's centered. You're only supposed to be about to turn it twice. Like one, two, and it gets stuck. Oh, no, nope, see, I just broke it. It's not supposed to do that. I will show you guys once I get the new one on how it's supposed to look. But so yeah, once you get it off. Uh, looks like you have two Phillips right here, one and two. Um, I want to say that's the only ones that you need, but let me go ahead and unscrew those and we'll, I'll pick back up. Alright, yeah, so my car isn't not completely put together. You do also have two screws under here, I'm assuming there's, uh, oh yeah, there is a panel that goes under here, so you need to take these off. And to get these two off, you should be able to pull it off, or pull it out. You do have all your wiring in the back panel that you need to disconnect. Um, let me see if I can get it off far enough so you guys can see. Yeah, so you guys are going to have something like that in the back, which you will need to disconnect. And then you. Alright, so like I said, it's just uh, four plugs that are on here. So you have one, two, three, and that one together, and then four. And that's pretty much it. It's funny, it says. Do not drop, do not disassemble. Whoops. <laughs> Tell me why I heard something break off. Anyways. Here is the new one. Off of the 350Z. Oh, it actually is missing a connector on it. Um, I'm going to look at the old one that I just dropped and figure out what that connector is for. Alrighty, I figured it out. I feel like this has to do with cruise control. I, I'm not really sure. Um, this was not on the Z one. It's just three bolts and it comes off. This little plate was not, like I said, the little plate is not on the one, the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this one over to the new one. Let's hope it works, cause I just dropped it like an idiot. <laughs> So I got that little plate on with the sensor right here. I just gotta screw it down. So that's pretty much all you gotta do. Now you throw it back on like that. Remember to connect all your electrical connections and reverse process of how you took it out. All right, so I got it installed. It's on. Uh, I did check the controls there at work. Um, now to show you how how do you know if it's uh, centered? You go one, two, and once you come around, it gets hard. You know, you don't want to force it because it'll break. So, one, two, that's centered. One, two, it gets hard. One, two, so that's centered right there. Um, it's gonna be like that though, because the little spline is like that. My wheels a little bit crooked at the moment. These two are for your airbag, you do not need them, so I'm going to try to tuck them away. I am currently going to try to wire my cruise control though, so uh, let me go ahead and find the cruise control button and the little plug for it. Alright y'all, so 
you're gonna need something like this. This comes originally plugged into your OEM steering wheel, which goes right here. And I'm gonna go through and clean up the wiring real quick, but you're gonna need something like this. Let me go ahead and show you which exact wires you guys need. So pretty much what you need is these three wires, the green one, the red one, and the black one. You do have three other wires on there, which should be uh, like a, maybe like a brownish color, a blue and a white. I just depinned it, I took them out. Um, all you have to do is, there's this little clip right here on the plug. I'll put it back on so uh, you guys know how it looks. Just lift it up and pull those out. So the green one will be for your horn, if you're going to be using your horn. The red and black, well red is for cruise control and black would be for ground. So let me go ahead and put the connector back together so I can show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so like I said, I just put it back on. Um, so those two little tabs right here, you could just kind of pry up with the knife. It's not really focusing, but those two tabs you could just pry up with the knife. And then you'll be able to pull the rest of the pins out. And it just goes... Plugged in. Oh man, I'm struggling to plug it in like that backwards. Just like that. So these two, like I said, black is ground, red is for the cruise control. They go to the cruise control. If you want to wire your horn, you will need to make like a, um, some kind of split connection on the ground, as one will go for the horn, one is for ground also. Let me go ahead and grab my uh, cruise control now and show you guys. Oh, I dropped my light. Can you believe that? Like I said, you have a one red wire, one black wire. Pretty much just go like that. Um, let me go ahead and throw it on real quick. I'm also going to wire the horn just for future use when I do end up connecting my horns again. So I can have a horn working. Um, so yeah, let me pick back up once I get it connected. Maybe I should have elaborated better. The two uh, airbag wires will come through right here. You could just tuck them in here or cut them. You know, I'm just going to leave them in. Um, I'll probably end up cutting them later or something. The horn wire will be in right here. Um, as far as your ground goes, that is a little bit more complicated. So what you're going to have to do is, uh, like I said, have some kind of three-way connection or something. So like right here, I have the wire. Oh. Um, like I said, you know, you have your red, your black, and your green. So you're going to have the two, the red and the black right here. You connect those together and as you can see i have a little extension on this black one which would be my ground um so this black one will go back inside next to the green wire so you could use that as the ground for the horn also so it just kind of looks something like that so let me go ahead and um, get it all wired up so you guys will see how it looks so i kind of just gently wrapped it up this is just temporary for now um, I'm going to mount it right here like on my steering wheel. Um, there is a company that does sell a little adapter plate that goes over this. So it will bolt on like exactly right here. I'll drop the link in the description. I obviously don't have it yet so I'll be zip tying it to my, uh, my wheel. So it's going to look something like this. You're going to have your cruise control right here. You have your uh, green wire for your horn. Your black wire as ground. The two airbag wires you can just tuck inside. And that's pretty much it. These two wires will be going to the two wires that are on the inside of your um, hub, like the little hub adapter thing. So now these have to be wired to this. Um, I do have to find a horn to throw on because I don't have a horn in the car, but yeah, it should work after this. So let's see. I already tested these. These all work. So the only main thing now is just the cruise control and my horn. So took the wires in. Got the horn two wires uh, wrapped it. So now it's just reverse process pretty much. Um, I should test it now, but if it doesn't work, obviously I'm gonna have to take it all apart again anyways. And I don't really feel like doing that right now. So reverse process, once I have everything together, I'll pick back up and we'll see if the cruise control works. I also gotta find a horn to throw on the front of the car so we can test out the horn too. So let's get that done. Oh, I didn't do the ding. Anyways, so you got it all on, right? Now come time to mount it. I think I messed up because usually most people's it'll sit up here, but um, I'm probably just going to zip tie mine right here for now. Just so it's on, you know. I don't have to worry about it. Are you doing it? No, actually, I think I could do it. 
I'll figure out a cool little spot to mount it for now. Just so, you know, I could, uh, I might do it like this. Um, obviously it's being zip tied, but hey, it'll be on, you know, just for the meantime. Because I don't want to leave it hanging while I drive and that's no bueno. So let me go to find a spot to prop it up real quick. Alright, so I just put it right here for now. The only downside is if I try taking my wheel off, clearly it comes with it. Um, this is only temporary though until I do get the new... Or that little bracket piece I was telling you about, uh, telling you guys about. Let me go ahead and connect the battery real quick and throw that horn on and see if everything works. So the only horn I could currently find was like a old alarm siren uh, that I guess used to be in this car. Um, I just connected them real quick just to test it out. So let's see if the horn responds. I'm obviously not going to keep it on there forever. I'm going to get some good horns, but uh, let's check it out. Oh my god, that was loud. <laughs> it works. So that's good to know. I have a horn now. <laughs> Somewhat. Um, let me go in and check the cruise control. I don't think it's going to work only because the car's not running or anything. But, um, oh, it does. It comes on. Cruise control on. The button just got stuck. But it comes on. Yeah, see, I don't have any maps, so it's, nothing's moving. Oh, it does. It looks like, see. Okay, interesting. So if I try doing map one, the way you switch maps is you push uh, the coast of the set down and press count so to go to your map. So like if you press it once, that's map one, twice, map two, three, four, so on. So if I press it once, nothing happens. Wait, actually, I saw a blink. Okay, so let's try it twice. One, two. Nothing. Oh, there you go. One. So I wonder how many maps this car has, actually. I don't even know, dude. That's um, interesting, actually. One, two, three. It blinks three times. One, two, three, four. Nothing. One. One. That's map one. Interesting. So everything's working now. Um, got a little horn going too. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much how you um, change out a clock spring on your G35 or 350Z, and also wire your cruise control if you're gonna get tuned, um, or if you have an aftermarket steering wheel, you know. And yes, this is actually I should say. This is how you wire your cruise control if you have an aftermarket steering wheel on your car, you know, and you're going to be tuned or something. Um, obviously, you need your cruise control to change maps. So, yeah. Um, if you guys like this install, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys want to see any future installs, let me know in the comments down below or my Instagram at slowvq35. Um, I'm just going to go tuck that horn away for now and probably scare the shit out of people with it um that's gonna be the end of this one guys so like i said if you guys like it don't forget like comment subscribe i'll catch you in the next one peace Bad man,